I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. This video is one in a series I did with my friend Ryan Harrell there sitting next to me in which we go through every single one of the BL Heli 32 options and tell you what they do and, most importantly, when you might want to change them. If you look down in the video description, there is a playlist link with all of the other videos in this series where we, you can learn everything about BL Heli 32 and if that's what you're into, go check that playlist out. We can yeah. talk about these briefly. Break on um, stop. So well, there's... a percent now? Yeah, it's, oh, it's I thought it was on off. Yeah. Okay, break on step. So a, tell them what break on step does. There's two different methods of breaking that happen. And this actually goes back to your analogy of the mm -hmm. merry-go-round. Yeah, yeah. So um, the damped mode, which is also known as complementary PWM in okay. the Simon K days. And, mm -hmm. and it really complementary PWM is a more accurate um, kind of picture of what it's actually doing. used to be called damped light right. is another so, thing and, it was called. Right. Or breaking. Or active it's breaking. Commonly it's known. all or Yeah, so all of that plays plays into into each other but um, basically what it's doing is when it uh, normally when it's detecting the zero crossing it's firing ahead and then stopping at the zero crossing mm -hmm. so in complementary PWN it waits for the zero crossing and then fires and that basically instead of driving the motor drags it right right so it's basically pulling in the opposite direction Effectively pulling. Basically, what's it do, what it's doing is turning the motor into a generator. Yeah, a generator. And, so and it actually backfeeds current through the system. And it's exactly what Tesla does when you're braking right. you have, and, and it's charging the regenerative braking. Right. Now, many people hear that and they think, oh, by turning this on, I'm going to get longer <laughs> flight times. The amount of current. Yeah, when you have a 3,000-pound car do, doing regenerative braking, you generate a lot of energy. Right. Your prop, it slow. Uh, the advantage is that it slows the prop down way, way faster. Way faster. Props can spin up really quickly, and it used to be like, especially mm -hmm. an old quadcopters. Remember how bad yaw was? Right. As soon as you yaw, the quad would go because <laughs> <laughs> the down, the down spinning prop was a lot yeah. slower than yep. the up spinning prop with damped light. So, or, you know, active braking was probably the most significant develop in ESCs. You have to have it. ESCs you have to ever. Have it. Um, it so, made a huge difference. And that's why here we have non-damped mode. The default with BLHeli 32 is that damp light braking is always on. Right. They actually didn't even used to let you turn it off, but right. now you can, although I don't know why you would. A lot of people are using BLHeli 32 ESCs on airplanes. Okay. So if you're so, running airplanes, you turn it off. Yeah. You turn, you turn non-damped mode on, which is turning braking off. For mini right. quads, this is always off, off right. which means braking is on. Right. But then what is brake so, on stop? And that's where a lot of people get confused. So this is where the second the second type of braking kicks in. Mm -hmm. So basically what the ESC can do is it can essentially open the FETs just across the board mm -hmm. and like short circuit it. And you can simulate this. You can feel the effect mm -hmm. of this. Take a tweezers or a pliers or something and touch the two uh, motor wires to get short them together. Yeah, and you, then try to spin and the try motor. and spin and your motor. motor. Like, you want to don't do that. Don't do that when your battery's plugged in, you <laughs> numbskulls. When your battery is unplugged, just take something metal, touch on your four in one ESC or on your regular ESC, short circuit the three motors, and try and turn, and you'll get a bunch yeah. of resistance. It'll be hard to turn. Yeah. It's kind of cool. So basically, it opens the high side, the the side of the fets that are facing the um, the the motor and lets them connect so that it it instantly stops the motor from spinning. I mean, it's like yeah. <laughs> dead stop. Now, why would you want to do that on a quad? Um, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. At all. Ever. So, the, again, that is useful for things like um, gliders. Right. Hot, hot liners and stuff where they, where they have folding props. Foldable props. So they want, when they stop that, they want that motor to stop spinning immediately. Because a spinning, a freewheeling prop is drag and gliders right. don't want drag. Correct. And that lets the prop fold up. I will tell you this, though. I do know some people who run this on quads because they like the fact that when they disarm, the motors just go boom. Yeah. Well, and, and think it used to be cool. on. It used to be on in yeah. the, the old Beale Heli days. You couldn't turn it off. Um, and Kiss never had it on ever. So, yeah. like, when you when you break to zero on a Kiss ESC, it just freewheels down. Yeah. So when you cut the throttle completely, they just glide yeah. down. Now, um, don't, don't get confused, though. If you're armed, the props are not going to stop. Right. This is only when you disarm. When you go to full zero on the yeah. – on the, and, and, yeah. uh, and a – and on, on, on your drone, the flight controller will never allow it to yeah. go to full zero. So this is normally off, and when you stop, basically your motors stop from friction and drag. Right. But if you think it's kind of cool that when you <laughs> disarm, your motors just go stop, then you can turn yep. this on. Yep. There's, but but mostly it's for glider pilots. Yeah. Okay. And the, the tunability in particular is for glider pilots as far as how fast it stops. I need to say that that sound you heard was my sh shoes grinding <laughs> together. 
because I don't know if I'm going to be able to cut that out and people are going to comment. That was my shoes. My you could have just blamed it on shoes. me. <laughs> it him. Okay. Okay. We're almost done here. Startup beep volume. Sure. So that, that just one. controls the... Do, like, do, 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 right. do, or in my case, right. the power up. If you turn, so if you turn, you turn it up, up too high, high you'll fly, fry your motor. Okay, so don't turn it up too high, you'll right. fry your motors. <laughs> I've seen it happen. Like okay. somebody accidentally janked it all the way up. They plugged in, <laughs> motor smoked. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Beacon volume, that is when you, 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 a lot of people may have not experienced this. If you leave your battery plugged in and your motors, your ESCs doesn't see throttle signal from the flight controller in a mm -hmm. while, then it'll start beeping because it thinks you lost your right. quad, crashed in the grass and is trying to Correct. help you find your quad. Now, that's not triggering now because we're connected to VL Heli Suite. Right. Like it only right. triggers if it's receiving normal PWM signal and yeah. then doesn't. And so that, it has to actually receive that and go through the initialization sequence first okay. or it won't trigger. And that's set to 80. So presume, and that doesn't smoke motors. There was a time when it smoked motors, but they changed the way the phases mm -hmm. are driven. Right, right. And now it doesn't. Right. So presumably if you wanted to, you could turn this right. up to 80 yep. safely. Yep. Um, turning this up louder will make the quad beep louder, but also more likely to smoke motors. Mm -hmm. Be careful with this because this is going to be happening when you've crashed in the grass somewhere and, and you can't find your quad. Blocked, yeah. And it's going to be beeping and beeping and beeping until you find it. If you smoke a motor, don't forget that not, you might not just smoke a motor, but you might start a freaking forest fire. <laughs> so don't turn this uh, too high yeah. and smoke motors. So beacon. And that beacon delay is how long it takes before it starts beeping. I usually turn it down to about two minutes. I usually turn it, I usually turn it up to the max or off. I turn it yeah, off because yeah. uh, I... Uh, I it saved always, me a couple of times. So. I have I have D-shot motor beep, beep, beeper. Oh, see, so I'm as long that. as I haven't fail-safed, I can pull a button. Mm -hmm. I can pull a, a switch yeah, on my yeah, transmitter yeah. and make the motors beep. And it's so annoying when I'm working on the bench and they start beeping right. at me. Yeah, I always turn it off until I'm finished. And then so you can it turn it up to an hour or down to 10 minutes. You can set it however you want. I set it for two for my, me personally, but like I said, it saved me three or four yeah. times. And I don't, have, there you go. I don't have a beeper or the D-shot beeper set up on my quads. It's just yeah, the D-shot so. beeper will save you. <laughs> and the thing is, if you've if you've disconnected the battery, you're not going to be beeping anyway. So right. it doesn't matter. Exactly. And have we done it? I think that's it. Is that everything? Oh, We've one hundred percent explained. The oh, uh, uh, there's one more throttle cal enable. Oh, what's that? Uh, so oh, if yeah, you yeah. uncheck that, uh, the calibration sequence won't work. You can't do an analog. Now, and that's really important to know because if you did accidentally uncheck it and you go to try to calibrate your motors and you jack the thing up and turn them on, it oh, just goes you're in trouble. Yeah. What does it break anything? Does it? Well, it's just I mean they go full throttle like as soon as you. No, 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 no. no. I don't think so. With all due respect, it goes do 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 do. And it just doesn't do anything. It doesn't initialize but the it throttle. But it can trace. go full throttle if depending on where okay. in the plug-in cycle. Okay, you don't, yeah. The, the reason you would turn this off, there's no, if you're using D-Shot, it yes. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So you could turn it off, turn it on. Oh. It doesn't. This one died. I can't believe it. Well, you could cut that last part out anyway. <laughs> I can't believe it. That battery must not have been fully charged. Well, uh, well we're going to have to finish this video. Well, good thing we're almost done. All right, that's it. That is BL Heli 32, 100% explained. <laughs> I've been Joshua Bardwell. Ryan Harrell. Happy flying.